Hi everyone, this is Victoria Fashion and welcome back to my channel. When I reintroduced myself back to the YouTube world, I mentioned that I had PCOS and PTSD. And therefore, um, I have been going on this healing journey um, since then. Um, I made a commitment to myself to get on this healing journey, I want to say around 2021. And I am still currently in it, <laughs> but I, it's amazing how far you can go um, once you have a lot of faith and believe in yourself. These are five practices and tools that I have been using to heal. I do want to say that I am able to control my anxiety and my depression a lot better than I did just even six months ago. So first things first, I want to mention meditation. Meditation has helped me significantly with rewiring my brain, making myself more aware, and also just being able to have a better sense and control of my negative thoughts and self-sabotage. When you deal with trauma, trauma, sometimes you develop a lot of self-sabotage. Unfortunately, it can make you be your worst enemy. Yes, you could be your own worst enemy when you have PTSD or when you suffer some sort of mental disorder or mental illness. So with that being said, yes, meditation has calmed me significantly. It actually helped me create a better relationship with myself. Number two is therapy. I made a commitment last year um, around September that I was going to go to therapy once a week for one year. So, and I am still in therapy, and my one-year commitment is almost expiring. Um, I do want to say that I got to learn a lot of, about myself. I am working with a therapist that has helped me try to be more present. I do suffer from depression, so... With depression, if you do have, if you have ever experienced depression, it can feel very lonely and it makes you feel like you're on autopilot constantly. So if you're going to hire a therapist or just seek therapy, I do suggest to go ahead and find a therapist that is right for you. Uh, remember, you are... Um, talking to a stranger and you're developing a relationship with this person. So having that relationship is very crucial. You don't feel any progress with, um, with, with your self-awareness, then I suggest go find someone else because you are just wasting your time. And it, you don't want to feel, you don't want to hire somebody as a therapist to make you feel like they are only receiving a paycheck. So you don't want that. Um, but yeah, um, therapy has definitely helped me out significantly as well. And I thank my therapist so much um, where I am today. Number three is actually journaling. Yes, journaling. I have been journaling since I was, uh, since 2018. So I have probably almost 10 books by now that I have, um, finished. And this is actually just one of them, but having a journal and journaling every day, you end up becoming your own best friend. And you also see like some chapters in your life where you were like in some years back and see so you definitely can see how far you have progressed. If you can't afford therapy, I definitely suggest journaling um, because again, it's, it's free therapy. I have an actual like format of how to journal um, day by day, day by day. So <clears throat> if you guys are interested in just advice how to journal, just let me know. I can make a video just saying. <laughs> um, it just keeps records of your thoughts and 
where you were at, at a stage in your life. Um, it also just gives you more structure as well. So, yeah, and that's why I love about journaling. It's just, it's your best friend. And it's you, and you're seeing, like, a past you. So that's what I love about it. Um, but, yeah, so if you... If you do, if you would like me to go ahead and create a video talking about journaling, again, just let me know. Number four, spending time with nature. Um, whether if it's going to the beach and looking at the beautiful sunset or, or again, going to the beach and it's nighttime and you just want to bask in the moonlight and see the the moon and just the ambience of it hiking going on nature walks also known as forest bathing it's it's wonderful um if you don't have these landscapes go to a botanical garden you will thank me later number five is very controversial um i don't want to make it a big deal plus my um so i am no if you are um, of age, please do your research and please um, find studies, find research what to do if you are going to take this approach. But <clears throat> it's taking magic mushrooms. <sighs> when you have trauma, uh, trauma gets stored in the body and I have not read this book yet but I have read other books discussing about trauma and how it affects you um mind body and spirit but there's a a there is a book called the body keeps the score and that's why in certain moments um wherever you're feeling anxious you're feeling you don't you feel unsafe um it's because it's still stored in your in your central nervous system. Um, but mushrooms um, definitely have helped me um, a lot. Um, I call it medicine for the spirit. I, again, like I said, I am a, a very spiritual person. Um, I also do, um, keeps me very, very grounded. And so when I am, when I am taking mushrooms, um, I usually do it in a very safe place. I set an intention and, um, I go on my trip and I feel a lot better the next day. Um, it's, it's a form of me to release certain emotions, certain memories and, make me feel so much it makes me feel so much more grounded than I did like the day before it definitely helps with my anxiety and my depression especially my depression it definitely has helped me it hel has helped me significantly um currently I'm not really taking mushrooms um as much as before but I am now taking mi I'm microdosing so I'm seeing how that affects me. Um, it definitely has, when I do take it, it has brought, I feel a lot more focus and my brain fog is not, um, it's not as prominent as most times when I, when I don't take, uh, when I don't microdose. So that's, that's one of the benefits that I actually enjoy because I do have brain fog um, a lot. And this part, this specific one is more for adults <laughs> and common sense adults too. So um, just saying, <laughs> but you know, um, I made this video because I am very, very in, I am a person who is very, who believes in in mental awareness and having empathy for increasing no i am a i am a person who 
is a big believer in mental health. I don't understand how some people just, like, s previous generations, and this is not me bashing on um, generations, but your brain is an organ, dude. Like, you gotta take care of your brain. And it's, you know, the brain is sexy. You don't want your brain to end up having, like, um, not having no ridges. The more ridges it has, the more... The more sexy it looks, for the lack of a better term. But um, that's just me just joking. But um, but seriously, um, mental health is very important. And I am very, very glad to see more people being more aware, uh, bringing more awareness to, um, to mental health and obtaining counseling because it's, it is a good thing. Um, I also want to want to say as a bonus that I am so not healed yet. Um, every day I'm always doing, making these pr practices because there's other goals in my life that I am working on. Um, I've already, I, th I feel like I've mastered my mind, my, my spirit, but now it's just the body. And it's, it's been a very interesting journey and I have learned so much and if you are in a point of your life that you're going on to on to this introspective and wanting to have more self-love I suggest do it and I want to let you know you are not alone um, there are people that will understand and empathize with you um, and you are valid and you are valid however again if you feel like you are feeling that sense of loneliness which is actually a ep epidemic um that has soared in the united states that nobody really talks about and it's it's really sad to think about it so um so yeah, um, if you guys want more tips about um, going on this he on a healing journey or thinking about it or trying to maintain a better relationship with yourself, just let me know. I definitely have more um, more routines, patterns that I could definitely discuss about and I could discuss about them all day really because... I'm actually very passionate about mental health and just seeing people strive and thrive and and be them, their authentic self. So just let me know. But I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe on my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.